Hello and welcome to this evening's video. And I must point out it's absolutely boiling today, tonight. It's like super hot, like amazingly close, you know, humid and all the rest of it. And you never guess what? I managed to get rid of the football. <laughs> Somebody uh, met up with us and uh, took the football. And that person was none other than Wendy's son. A very pleasant, polite chap indeed. We had a good chat in one of the uh, gardens in the Maples estate. It was actually the wrong garden that I uh, arranged to meet him in, but that doesn't matter. <laughs> I said, the main thing is I managed to uh, meet up with them so and give them the ball. So that was good, you know, finally got rid of the football. And uh, the, the football stunk of uh, cat's piss, to put it mildly. So I sprayed it with some rosemary oil spray. And I think that took most of the other smell away, because the other smell wasn't too great. Um, I mean, I, c I couldn't have washed it because I had nothing to dry it on, apart from the towels that I use and I didn't want to do that because I'll have nothing to dry me face on and stuff. I don't want a towel full of Tomcat's piss on me face, drying me face with that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we don't want that. And uh, in case you're wondering where I am right now, I'm in this um, location here where uh, Yoda, Yoda from Star Wars The Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi and all that, he used to live here. Somewhere around here. Use the force, Gordon. Use the force. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but it does kind of look like similar to where he used to live. So if he was here, he would probably say, mm, "Very interesting. Use the force." Or something like that. I don't know. Mm, that's what uh, I just did most see, of you Star Gordon. Wars fan fans, mm. rather, will probably know that um, Yoda's voice was provided by none other than Frank Oz who's famous for the Muppets. He used to do Miss Piggy, I think um, Fuzzy Bear, and a few other characters. I can't remember all of them. And Jim Henson used to do quite a few as well. Jim Henson was the creator of the Muppets, I believe. Uh, he passed away though quite some time ago, unfortunately. Um, but this is quite a, a nice spot under here. I know what the lighting's like if I turn this way, but it's, it's quite sparse, there's lots of space in between the trees, you know? It's not like you can move around, there's plenty of space and room. It's very roomy, shall we say. Roomy. It's a, it's a wood with a view, <laughs> so to speak. Somewhere like that, anyway. And I've managed to park my bike against this little small stump of a tree thing that's been snapped off or something. Uh, you don't see too many of them around. And this tree here... It's got some weird splodges on it, I don't know what that's off. Is that some sort of fung fungal disease or something? I don't know. What is it? Bring it closer in. Let's have a good look at that there. What's that off? Does anyone know? Any tree surgeons out there? Because I haven't got a clue what that is. But it doesn't look too good to me. But they've all got it on. Around here, all of them. I think. Most of them, in fact. These have got it on. Look at this. It's all over. Look at that. So, yeah, something going on there. It's probably nothing like, it's probably just normal. Uh, unless it's something to do with uh, what's been done in the skies, if you catch me drift. Some of you who are awake out there, you know what I'm saying? Is it affecting the, uh, the plants and the trees? Because somebody told me on my Facebook, or he didn't tell me, tell me directly, he posted a video of himself talking, saying that um, there's hardly any bees around these days. He says, uh, he says, go out in your garden and show some photos or videos of bees. He says, I bet you there won't be any there. He says, there's usually tons of them and there's like none. But I've just been sitting in the garden where I met Wendy's son, the one just up from it, the one with all the trees in. And there was some like flowery type things that were a bit, I think they were dying off, but there was one bee on him. There was one bee there that I saw. So there is still some bees, just it doesn't seem there's many bees. Not as many as there should be, maybe. You could say it's to be or not to be, I don't know. But um, my friend on Facebook was saying on his video 
that if all the bees die off there won't be any pollination of the plants and we'll end up with no food that's what he was saying now I don't know much about that type of thing he seems to know more than me but makes you wonder doesn't it hmm he said he said something about 5g is affecting them as well the frequency he thinks that's that might be one of the things that's helped kill them off but I don't know any but that's just what he said you know I don't know there's a lot of things being said about the 5g thing you know for the mobile phones and internet connection 5g I think my phone's only 4g I think it can do 5g at least some of my phones can but I, I think my route has only 4g I hope it is anyway I hope it is <laughs> There's lots of uh, twigs all over the ground here. Someone's been snapping them or something. I don't know what's been going on, but... Oh, I've just stood on one. Anyway... Okay, so I'm just going to take a walk up this path. I've noticed there's like a little... Uh, looks like a little uh, footpath thing through here. So we'll take a walk through here and see if it comes out at anywhere. But if it doesn't, I'll have to find another way out. Or um, go back where I've came from. You should be able to hear the metros passing from in here. It's not too far away from the tracks. Pretty much. Well, it's getting a bit dimmer under these trees. I've come to this light area here. But uh, I think the lighting's going to be a bit worse. Worse going under the trees up that way. But I'll still do it. See where it comes out at. And what have you. Right, oh, yeah. right. Actually, I think the footpath might be disappearing. Maybe it leads nowhere. It might be the case. Or maybe it does. We'll see. So, follow it and see what happens. Now, I've just been, um, I've just been with a black cat on the path back there seems to be there most nights. I think it's a she. It uh, seems to have... Um, ooh, that plane doesn't sound too good, does it? I mean, near that. It seems to have came from the uh, Maples, Maples Estate. Probably lives there. But it's always on that gravel path next to the seats, the wooden seats. Uh, it's quite friendly, but it's not, like, extremely friendly because it doesn't come right up to you. It stays about six or seven feet away and rolls around in the gravel and the dust. It was, she was covered in dust, I tell you. I know why cats uh, spend so long washing themselves and then getting dirty again, rolling around in the muck. I thought only dogs did that, but uh, cats as well, apparently. It's kind of strange, isn't it? Hang on a minute, oh, bloody hell. Ow. I just got stabbed in the face off this sharp twig there. I didn't see that. Oh, my God. I've just noticed something over here, I'm going to have a look. I think it's, um, oh it's the houses, that's where it is, I don't know where it was at first. I saw cars and that through some of the gaps in the trees. It's just the back of the maples estate on the side of it. That's all it is. Oh! You lose your bearings when you're in here. <laughs> you could probably lose your ball bearings when you're in here as well if you're not careful. That's providing you're carrying some ball bearings. Uh, you never know, someone might have some Benoit balls in their pocket, you never know. Or somewhere else, I don't know. It's possible. And if you don't know what those are, watch the film 100 Girls. And you'll find out. <laughs> it's a good film, that. 100 Girls. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And there was a sequel made called 200 Women, I think it was called. I think it was 200 Women. Something like that, anyway. It was definitely women, not girls. Right, where the hell are we now? <laughs> I don't actually know. Well, I do know, but it's probably going to come out near Spuggy's Bridge, I think. Yeah, I should make my own version of the Blair Witch Project. Maybe the Tony Tony Blair Witch Project or something, I don't know. If I can get him involved, I doubt I would be able to do that. I could just use a cardboard cutout like uh, Blot Outdoors did with Gareth, Gareth Southgate. He did an off-lead people on with that video, like, he said for days... I'm going to be uh, going stealth camping with Gareth Southgate. And uh, then when he finally uploaded the video, 
He's with a bloody cardboard cutout of him. <laughs> he just he just told everyone a pack of lies. Anyway, so it was a bit of a letdown, but it was still funny. I'm not really into Gareth Southgate because I don't follow football, but uh, you know, just the fact he was out with some celebrity person, I was supposed to be going to be, but he wasn't. It's just a cardboard cutout of him, you know. Anyway, right. So I think we're coming. Well, getting close to the way out, maybe, I think. I'm not sure. Looks a bit brighter over here. Yeah, spots on that tree as well. Something's moving in the bushes behind us. Probably a bird or something. Or is it? <laughs> it could be some... Elusive creature lives up here next to Spuggy's Bridge, you don't know. You never know. Could be a Sasquatch or a Bigfoot or something. I don't know, Quasimodo. And he has some blackberry bushes. I, don't know, I never expected to find some of those in here. I saw some people picking some yesterday up that path on the way to Wardley. I don't think most of them are out yet though. Just the odd one. You get like blackberries and um, raspberries I used to. Or is it all just uh, blackberries these days? I don't know. Who knows? If you ever run into any problems, I mean, there's plenty of sticks to, to whack your uh, attacker with. <laughs> That's for sure. There's a bottle buried, half a bottle buried in the ground down there. If you can see it, I can't see where I'm pointing. Where is it? There. Hmm. There may be some buried treasure around here, you never know. Oh, hang on. I think there's a way out down here. Or something. Maybe there's a way out. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, I know where we are now. Yeah, it's the path that leads up to the Swiggy's Bridge. I've come out at that bit. Yeah, I did another video here, but I haven't uploaded it yet on this path. And, uh, on the way of, uh, on the way to Spuggy's Bridge, I'm starting to get a close look of it from below the bridge. Yeah, so I'll get that uploaded at some point. Oh, there's some nice flowers here, yeah, look at these. See if there's any bees anywhere. Don't see any. There's a hornet. There's a hornet here. Can you see him? Oh, I've lost it, where's he going? There he is. Hornet, stay still a minute, will you? I'm trying to get a shot at you. You know, not want to be on YouTube. There he is, can you see him? Uh, He's... Anyway, let's leave him there, do his stuff. As he lands on one of the flowers. This is not exactly macro photography. Is he gonna land? Yes, he landed. Oh, he's under the flower, I can't see him properly. I don't know if you can see him, but he's on the flower there. Okay, well I've found my way out, as you can see, onto this uh, path that leads back to the um, the pond and the uh, railway crossing that's blocked off down at the back end of Luke's Lane, behind the field and the Maples Estate. I'm going to have to head back home now, because uh, I need to get me din-dins, me dinner, pretty much. But it's quite a nice uh, walk down here, if you like walking that is. I don't like walking because I have so many issues with it. Um, riding my bike's a bit better, but not 100% better, uh, unfortunately. But anyway, this was just a little video, mainly an update about the football, that I found down here a few nights ago, that I said I was trying going to try and give it back to the owner or anybody else who wanted it if the owner didn't come along and claim the ball back, basically. So, now the ball has been given out to somebody who is actually a, a decent person and all that, so that's good, you know. Because the yeah, last thing you want is to give it to some scumbag, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, some, someone who's going to just go and kick it through somebody's window or something. Or oh, knock the fence down like they do around my way. I try to knock the fence down with the football type of thing. Hey, there's a bit of a 
a bit of a bump on the track there, yeah, it's just on the side of the, the railway track, but right there in the middle, where I'm pointing, and there's a rabbit here by the way, you can see him behind us. I don't see too many rabbits at this point, but he's over there. Hang on, Let's see if we can get him on camera. He'll probably run off when I get closer, but we'll see. Here we have the ever popular, and he's gone in the bushes, uh, countryside rabbit. He's gone in the bloody bushes. Son of a bitch. He went in there, oh, I just saw him, but he's. Oh, mate! Hey, mate! <laughs> Are you gonna come out and say hello? This is your chance to become famous. No, he's not going to come out, I can tell you that now. I'm not psychic, but I've got a pretty good idea he's not coming out. Oh well, just my damn look, wasn't it? He darted straight into the bushes. <laughs> There's a notice on this tree over here, I don't know what this is all about. I just noticed. I just noticed the notice on the tree. <laughs> it's half ripped to bits. It says something about Moncton Pond. They love to rest and graze on the grass. I take it they're on about the swans, but the top bit's ripped off. It says, please help keep them safe. Keep dogs on leads. Thank you. It's about the swans, I think. Swans that don't seem to be here at the minute. I don't know if they're coming back or what. There's not even any of the members of Moncton Marsh Pond here. Lately when I've been here, there's nobody. Here's the sign. As you can see, it's ripped to shreds on the top. It looks like uh, Freddy Krueger has been at it, oh, to be honest. Pretty much. Okay then, I'm going to wrap up this video here right now and go off home for some dinner, because I'm bloody famished. Okay, so if you've enjoyed any of this little video here tonight, uh, amongst the trees and up by the railway lines, uh, could you please give us a little link, uh, like, a link, not a link, a like. See, when you haven't eaten, yeah, my mine t turns to mashed potato, you know what I'm saying, and you come out with all sorts of gibberish. <laughs> so if I record any longer, it'll get more gibberish, gibberishy, gibberishy, can I say it, gibberishery, it'll be more gibberish. I can see somebody walking across Spuggy's Bridge. I hope it's not the, might be the ghost, you never know. <laughs> he does show up at odd times, you never know, it might be him. He wasn't wearing a hat though, so it's probably not him. Anyway, so I'd just like to wish you all uh, a very Merry Christmas for next time. And, uh, and a Happy New Year. And don't forget to give us a little like, like I say. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you'd like to see any more videos from me. And you get all the notifications, okay? And you can share the video if you feel like it. If you don't feel like it, that's fine as well. It's up to you. So, from me, it's bye for now. See you later. Ta-ra now. Silence is golden in the rainbows on the floor. Sam, the hills are alive with the sound of music. The birds in the trees all flew away. Was that the ghost of Spuggy's Bridge? I guess we'll never know the guy walking across the bridge that I saw on the end of the video.